Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nakristos, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create caution lines like this in Photoshop. Thank you guys for 7,000 subscribers. I really love you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Let's do more. And um, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we are going to learn how to create this kind of caution lines like this in Photoshop. So I'm just going to clear this and um, yeah, the first thing we need to do is to create our shape. Now, um, so you are going to go back to your shape tool here, rectangle tool, and then you are going to change your color to a bright yellow color. So define your shape like this. It's going to be a long rectangle like this. If the yellow is too harsh for you, you can bring it down to a subtle orange like this. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is to create a text box from the edge of this to here like this. So you want your text box to cover here. Then you are going to type in, in caps lock caution. You are going to leave space. Can leave um spacing one two three four five caution again then leave the space again then copy everything go to the space control c v control v control v control v control v until you fuse the whole um shape okay so uh you want to bring this down a bit so that to enter the middle and yeah so uh you are going to align it to the center i'm going to align the text to the center all right so uh we're now going to align our rectangle shape our rectangle layer to the center you can do that by hitting ctrl a and then tapping on the rectangle and then going to your alignment uh, options so you can see that the text is not yet aligned with the shape and this is because of the spacing in the text box so you have to get rid of that space so once you get rid of it do the same control a and then align it to the center and then you can have this now we want the spacing here here this place you want it to be a bit much so what you, you are going to do is to just um, increase the shape the size of the shape of the rectangle shape so i'm just going to increase it like this and yeah so we have this already so i'm going to select both layers by holding control and tapping on the layer and then convert it to a smart object i created a shortcut um, control plus full stop that will enable me to do the converting to smart object instead of right clicking and then clicking on this all right so we have this as one layer okay so you are going to duplicate this you are going to duplicate this also you are going to duplicate this also okay now if you tap on the first shape you hit ctrl t now you can actually add more stees or more um you can <laughs> add more um things to this shape so once you hit ctrl t you go back to this place um you go back to your um you go back to this place for warp okay i cannot tap it because of um the screen record but but when you do tap it you can have the ability to change um to edit the shape and then to add um warping to it so i don't know why it's not clicking but if you can click it on your own you can go back to arc and then from arc you can transform this you can even do this with control holding control and then holding here and then you can see this which you can just manipulate and then if you you can see how this turned out and see how this turned out so once um your warping opens that is this option here once you can open it on your own you can go back to arc 
can go back to raise and you see all the effects there and then you can actually um use those effects to your own advantage so for now i can only do this too i can only do this too so um that's basically it about creating caution lines in photoshop now you can use this in any um design that you want to do in any design at all if you want to create uh a birdie flyer if you want to create um a real estate design like any design that you you want to do you can use this effect on it and it's going to turn out nice it's going to turn out nice it's going to come out well so yeah that will be all for today's video if you enjoyed the video kindly subscribe to this channel and leave a like so that the youtube algorithm is going to push it to other people who want to watch this video and yeah share this video to your friends and um, click the bell icon if you haven't so that anytime i release a new update on this channel you'll be one of the first people to see it and um till then keep creating and peace out